Hey guys! Welcome back to Assassin's <laughs> Creed Valhalla! Last episode, we were uh, trying to negotiate with the king. Uh, but a certain violent individual named Ivar chose violence, surprisingly. But I'm an assassin, a very, an assassin who, who wants peace. Assassins for peace, you know. Anyway, if you like what you see today, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. You'll be notified whenever I upload. It's easy to do. And it's good for everyone. That would give me a 1,100 subs too. That would be great. Anyway, let's do it. Okay. So we're gonna try to make peace happen. Uh, Stone quarry filled with Britain's supply carts. Once I burn those, it will push Rodri to peace. Yes, that's how you get peace. <laughs> like I said, I was the president of Assassins for Peace. Well, I missed. I hate it. I hate it when I miss. This is why stealth doesn't happen oftentimes. I'll miss a shot. I don't mean to assassinate someone, except I won't be too far of a distance. Finally, with them out of the way, let's set this thing afire. Just use a torch. You don't waste arrows. <laughs> On those things. And anything burnable, just use a torch. Honestly, my favorite game. I'll be doing it till the end, you know? Then my plan is to take a break after I finish the main game and do DLC later. Let's see how poison works on these guys. I'm gonna do the DLC of this game eventually. <laughs> Missed again. Wouldn't you know that I'm gonna miss? <gasps> You're not gonna make it to me though. Come on, try and reach me. Try and reach me, bro! You can't reach me. <laughs> Just in case they wanna ring the alarm. See if I could do a dank move here. They never knew what hit them. Oh, cool. We got something to read. Pause if you want. great if I could just take over this mine you know and make tons of silver like there we are the quarry and Wenlo camp both done that should shake Rodri to his senses now to Westbury before Eva causes more problems. a few hundred million silver no I am constantly humbled by you guys watching my videos <laughs> let's go um Smell that meet Ivar again there's Eva. The guy who chooses Children. violence every time. Two. Unlike me. A peaceful assassin. No, no. The air smells of distant thunder. Thor walks with us. No violence walks with you. Only peace walks with me. <laughs> Ivar, Cheolbeth. Hey, Eivor. I was telling the Aetherlink here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. We have a choice. I want to say peace, but I'll do Jailbeard. Because... If we prevail here, Jailbeard becomes Elderman. First a Netherling, soon an Elderman, one day the king. Oh, you are jumping rank, boy. 
I hope to begin my tenure in peace, Ivar. Let us finish this here, once and for all. Even talks like an elderman now. <laughs> oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Bah, I prefer sound and fury. But do as you must. You gotta burn some roofs down. I would like to say houses, but I just focus on the roofs. Eivor, are you not done? Have you stopped to nap? Enough! What's wrong with I stopping the blood. nap, right? Eivor. Take time. Enjoy the scenery Eivor. of this beautiful God, village. Eivor. You're a rabbit hound. Yeah. He chooses violence every day, unlike me, who chooses peace. <laughs> Let's peacefully burn this uh, place down here. <laughs> See, it's peaceful, um, burning. <laughs> final place, maybe? <laughs> I think it'll be the final place. And then the village will be in peace. Haha, <laughs> yes. Should rid this place of soldiers. Less support for Rodri. Where is the soldiers? I think they got rid of them all. Eivor, here comes Anir. He's roaring in like a winter sea. Oh, I think Ivar has the Smoke! aura of a Someone wolverine. Someone set that fire! Find them! Stay! So, speaking of wolverine. They're in the camp! Or a honey badger, yeah. Speaking of Wolverine, there is a Wolverine game that's going to be happening. And uh, I'm very interested in it. You lost in the reach of Bona and you will lose here. So we'll see. It's made by the same Insomnia. Same ones who made the Spider-Man game. I'm playing Spider-Man, by the way, and in case you didn't know. I wanna play really all the modern Spider-Man games, eventually. That's how I work. Alright. Eivor! Did you see Trailbird fight? He is all balls now! I give thanks for victory, and ask penance for taking lives. Oh, Trailbird, your god bores me to death! Have a laugh! We won! And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The song of swords, the blood mist, the bone crunch and baring of teeth. Uh, you are Ivar. <laughs> no one else like you. This ya. is enough blood paid, Ivar. We have spilled enough to slake the thirst of Fenrir. Why stop there? Jailberth, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Westbury has been destroyed. The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar, not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing! I need a moment of calm. You need me. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. Fishing sounds a it's lot just better. just up here. I have no fondness for fishing. Where is the sport in it? There's no chance the fish will kill me. Ah, <sighs> oh, you gotta love him or hate him, I think. I don't like Ivar a lot at all. I'm a, I'm a peaceful assassin. Peaceful assassins do not approve of Ivar. Here will be good. Let's fish for eel. Dale have relishes nettle soup cooked with eels fresh. Okay. In the water. I will not fish. You go ahead. 
I'll catch some eel. I know how to fish. I do it in my spare time sometimes. It's a good way to earn money, and fish earn a lot of money in this game. Especially if you know the right fishing Bring spots. Bring it to shore. There are some lucrative ponds. Go to the river. An eel. Do the ponds. Look at all those <laughs> delicious Find fish. the right pond. Oh my god. Bet Hook. you guys Bring it to shore. didn't think, you know, this would be a fishing episode. But it is. This episode is going to be entirely fishing. Actually, there's some non-fishing stuff. But entirely Another fishing. Eel. <laughs> Almost enough for a hearty soup. Yes, eel soup. What I have every uh, time, day for dinner. Do you guys love eel soup? Hooked. Bring it to shore. Yeah, what is your favorite soup? Let me know in the comments. Or do you not like soup? I mostly don't like soup. But maybe I don't like my like, cream of broccoli or like potato kind of soup or something. Most soups I don't like. <laughs> Just to be honest. Tell That's me now in the comments now. though. Bishop Dalov will be pleased. Let's go tell Ivar about our catch. Yes. That should be good. Ivar will be so happy to hear of the catch we made. Mm, he'll be impressed. Hey Ivar, we caught some fishies. <laughs> Do you want to know about our fishies? That took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah, a strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chelbert, but my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chelbert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just, but I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups. I am an assassin for peace. I go for peace. They set the village ablaze, yes. But peace is not guaranteed. And it will take another sort of skill to win it. Restraint. Our next steps are critical, my lords. And after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Eva should lay low. Lay low? After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, Wolfkist. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard. You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for Rodri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp just here. We'll see what happens. Productive Peace camp already. Or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the great oak! Where is Chaelbert? He ought to be present for these talks as our future elderman. He went hunting. For wild boar, he said. That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Angharad, greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are gladdened to hear it. 
but where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. Ivar isn't here. <laughs> We've confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then at long last we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chailbert must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now. Hashtag Assassins for Peace. So, I'm gonna end the episode right here. Be sure to hit that like button, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, or even hit that bell icon to turn the notification squad. I truly appreciate all the support. Bye, guys!